Right, well, I managed to get through the first week of the second year and um, make um, a lot of progress in terms of uh, the two pieces I was working on. Although, um, I think they're, they're, they're coming along. But um, the last lesson I was having some difficulty with a particular, um, uh, well, some particular elements of the, uh, the piece, which was uh, to those earthworms. Um, and it's because it's got a swing to it. And it's just a... Um, just a set of about three notes um, that you got to try and play with a swing, and Jane gave me a bit of a tip for how to do that. But yeah, it's just, uh, I'm not sure it's working. But um, I guess I guess a bit bit more practice, and um, Jane will, will, will let me know if I'm doing it right or not. Um, so that was pretty much the thing I was trying to work on getting right um, over the last week. Um, also uh, set some goals, or more specifically, Jane set some goals for me for. Um, uh, the, the first six months of this year, of, of year two, of the journey. Um, and so I've got the, got the sheet here. So apparently I'm going to be playing a piece at grade two level by the end of six months. So that's, that's going to be good. Um, I'll be at grade two level. So yeah, quite neat. Um, technique. Um, she's got me to include pieces requiring more frequent pedal changes. So um, she's, she's going to be finding me pieces that do these things. Pieces that require faster finger work and scale passages. So um, I think that's probably um, related to um, trying to find some purpose for learning scales. Um, so I sort of mentioned in my sort of annual roundup that um, I've been told that, that you know, scales are quite a common thing that occur in, in pieces of music. So it's good to be able to have those just sort of under your fingers, as it were. Um, so... Um, she's going to try and find some more pieces with that sort of thing in it, I believe. Um, and also uh, include pieces that contain larger leaps uh, and movement across the keyboard. So at the moment, I um, haven't generally had to move my hands too far. So um, there's a, been a couple of pieces where I might have had to move it sort of about three or four keys to the left or the right, but um, yeah, typically it's not, a, not something there's been a lot of. Um, extend and refine the balance between the hands for soft and loud play. Um, this isn't something I've really thought about too much um, since oh, probably about six months ago when I first sort of encountered it. Um, I seem to be doing it okay, so I thought, yeah, got that one to us, but um, apparently not. <laughs> well, well, apparently there's still more to learn, all I guess. Um, and also extend and refine different articulation between the hands. Uh, on the subject of rhythm, she wants me to become more familiar and comfortable with jazzy swinging rhythms. So that piece I'm playing now, to those earthworms, that's got a swinging rhythm in it, uh, and it is, it is tricky. It's um, yeah, I, I'm not comfortable with it. So that that'll be a good, uh, good goal. Recognize and be able to play more complicated rhythmic patterning, including semi quavers and triplets. Uh, and she's got a book called Flipper Rhythm, which um, basically allows you to sort of mix and match. Um, left and right hand rhythms and practice them. So I guess we're going to be doing a bit of that. Scales. Yeah. Um, apparently, um, she wants me to have all of the white key majors and harmonic minors together, two octaves. So at the moment, um, I've learnt all of those, but um, I haven't really progressed into playing them at the same time in both hands. Um, and certainly haven't uh, had them playing at the same time in both hands, two octaves. So... Um, that's something to work on. Um, I have actually started a little bit of that with the practice I did last week. I did actually get back into the scales. I did the F harmonic minor, which was the one I learned last lesson. Um, and in the last couple of days of practice of that, um, I've been attempting to do that uh, both hands together, one octave. So um, starting out on, on that part of the journey, as it were. Uh, and these are some new ones, but looks like she says, learn all white key major and minor arpeggios, whatever those are, uh, two octaves and separate hands. So that'll be something new. Uh, and sight reading, she says, I need to be working on the grade two level. So those are all the, the musical goals for uh, the next six months. Um, I haven't uh, thought too much more about the non-musical goals. Um, Obviously, I'm, I'm, well, I'm making a bit of an effort not to mumble in this particular session, so I'm, I'm incorporating that. <laughs> um, and uh, also, I've, I've started planning out um, the, the practice apps. I started doing a little bit of design work for that, but um, it really is sort of a, a vanity project, as it were. So it's not going to get um, dedicated priority time in my schedule. 
um, other than maybe at the weekends uh, if, I, if I feel like it. So, but we'll see how we go. Um, I've yet to think about whether or not I want to make the videos a little bit more fancy and practice doing um, more things with call outs and things like that, um, music overlays. Um, I'm not sure how useful those will be for me in the future projects that I want to do. So, uh, I'm, yeah, there might not be as much leverage in, in that as there was just in getting to learn the video tools to, to start with. So, but anyway, I'm still thinking about those things. Um, and uh, I probably won't, won't, um, won't mention them too much in this because this is about my musical journey. Um, but we'll, we'll see where we go at the end of the year and see if I've got any of those sorts of things done. Um, feedback on it then. So that's about it for um, the last week review. Um, so we're coming on to lesson 44 today and that's about four minutes away. So yeah, back in four.